I look so cakey. I don't know if you can see this on camera. This is the worst my makeup has ever looked. Hey Mia Cards, it's Mia here. I am barefaced because today we are going to be doing something crazy. I don't know if anybody has done this before. My mum actually came up with this idea, crazily enough. I tried looking into YouTube and I couldn't find it anywhere, but I just feel like the internet is an absolutely crazy place. There must be someone who has done it. There must be someone who's not as crazy as me. Anyways, basically, today we are going to be doing full face of makeup using a dummy. And this is my little baby sister sister's dummy and I really don't know how this is gonna go. I feel like this bit kind of reminds me a little bit like a, well I don't actually use beauty blenders, I use silicone sponges and this is kind of like a silicone sponge. I can only do like my foundation and concealer with that. The rest of the stuff, I'm just gonna have to get creative Miacorns. If you are new around here however, make sure to click subscribe to become a hashtag Miacorn and also make sure to follow me on Instagram, I am at Mia's Life Official. Now, without further ado, Let's just get straight on to the video. Now the first step is foundation and I'm going to be using my Tarte Amazonian Clay BB Tinted Moisturiser. I don't know how this is going to go. I need a mirror. It's always so difficult when I do my makeup so I'm going to have to like kind of the viewfinder and then also use the mirror. Sometimes when you use the viewfinder you look in the mirror and then you're like oh my goodness how did I even do that. So I'm going to be using this little bit like the bit that you actually suck on. Don't worry, I did clean this before I did this. And then once I'm done with this, I am going to put this in like boiling water and really clean it. I don't want my little sister eating makeup. <laughs> so this is kind of like working, but then at the same time it really isn't. It's kind of difficult to like blend it because it gets kind of like stuck. And then because it kind of like bounces, but like not in a good way. It bounces too much. Right, now that I've got all the product onto my face, we use a mirror and try and blend this out. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna have to keep cleaning this. If not, all my products are gonna get really mixed up together. So difficult to blend. This feels like it's gonna take me forever. And it's actually like quite hard. I have to press it quite hard. Like I feel like I'm gonna have to go like this. I can't bounce it just cause if not, it's gonna take forever. I feel like I just put loads of foundation on this cheek and then I didn't put any on this cheek. <laughs> Don't know what I did that for. Maybe I'm gonna try and use the back of this. <gasps> this feels so much better, for definite. I think it's just like so awkwardly shaped. Really not designed for putting your makeup on. I'm trying to blend it out. It's like a little bit streaky, but I feel like it's kind of gone better. I need to blend it down my neck a little bit low. When I first thought of this challenge, I thought foundation is gonna be so easy. You're just gonna use the little like teat bit. Then when I started doing it, I was like, oh my goodness me, this is so difficult. I can't believe I thought this bit would be easy. And now that I've done it, I was like, oh, it's not actually that difficult. So now we're gonna be doing concealer. I'm nervous for concealer because with foundation, I could use the back of this really hurts so my face feels actually bruised i didn't think this was actually gonna hurt me but it does actually hurt for my concealer i'm just using my bare minerals concealer i have kind of put this in all the places i think that i usually put it in yeah this is more or less on now i need to try and blend this out so i'm going to try using the teat again see how this works if it works better for concealer because obviously you don't need to put this all over your face I look so cakey. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but this is the worst my makeup has ever looked. I say that, but I bet one of you guys can find something where my makeup looks worse. I just don't think I'm gonna be able to blend it out more than this. As much as I can blend it, and it's so like streaky, it does not blend in with my skin at all. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to leave it like this. Hopefully, like later on in this challenge, we can kind of revive this a little bit. Now I am feeling very like oily for some reason. I feel like because I didn't really blend out properly because I can't. So I'm gonna be using a lot of setting powder. Once again, my setting powder is from Bare Minerals. So I'm just gonna put this, you know, in the normal spot. This bit isn't too difficult. I feel like I can't really get much on it. This is just so weird. Let's leave this to bake 
while we're waiting for that to bake we're gonna do eyebrows i have no clue how i'm gonna do this i think i'm probably gonna use like maybe this little bit because i was thinking about maybe using this bit but this bit isn't very well actually i'm maybe able to do it but this one feels a little bit more sturdy it's incredibly difficult to like kind of blend it like it doesn't really bend it just kind of like i stick it on and then it's staying there forever <laughs> my eyebrow powder has like already you can see the pan and i feel like this is going to use up so much i really hope it's not going to be like this for like eyeshadow and stuff oh no look what's happened <laughs> so i really don't know what is happening with these eyebrows i put some of the gel that is here i don't usually use this but it just wasn't like sticking it just kind of was really weird so i put some of this on just in the same method i really can't like be exact so i just kind of had to roll with what i can do so we're just gonna move on and hopefully we can do something with the rest of the makeup draws the attention away from the eyebrows bronzer i think i'm going to go actually no i think i don't need to wash it just yet but i am gonna wash my dummy soon because it's dirty we can try a bit of both so we're gonna try this one first and get some bronzer on oh my goodness i look so weird oh i completely forgot to wipe off my powder i was then gonna put bronzer on when i haven't wiped off my powder right okay i'm trying to wipe off my powder it it's mostly come off it's doing okay now we're actually gonna do bronzer we're just gonna do the same thing again try and get some bronzer on i don't really feel like i can get much on so i feel like i'm gonna have to use up like a lot of bronzer same as i did with the eyebrows i don't feel like i want to put like a really big line and then have to blend that out because i feel like it's going to be difficult to blend out so i'm just gonna add a little bit and then try and work my way up i feel like even that was a little bit too much okay now we're gonna do the other side oh it's so difficult because i can't do like a line i have to kind of like pat it on i've kind of put it like in the wrong place now because of having to pat it I'm gonna do on my nose using the tea again. I don't really do much nose contour usually, I just get a tiny little bit. Okay, so that really didn't blend out, so I'm only gonna try and put a teeny weeny weeny bit on this side. And now I'm gonna be using the back. I am going to put it like on the sides of my face okay so this bronzer didn't come out very good <laughs> now let's do blusher i actually feel like i'm probably not gonna need to wash it which i'm happy about because i was nervous about washing it because then i feel like it's gonna be all wet and then just ruin it it's actually like coming off pretty easily the makeup i feel like this has made my nose look really weird like the contour is making my nose a weird shape <laughs> we're gonna use blusher so i'm gonna put this on the back again i feel like this is kind of a safe bet powders even though nothing is going on here maybe this form formula is like different this actually does seem to get some product but the back of this doesn't really get anything and now that it's got a lot of product it's stronger than i usually go for i usually have more natural blush it's not too bad okay so i feel like that kind of has made me look a bit like a clown we're just gonna move on to highlight because i feel like highlight fixes everything however i'm gonna be using my kat von d alchemist holographic palette and this is very very pigmented and when i say pigmented i mean pigmented and i feel like i'm gonna have to use this bit here to be able to do like as precise as i possibly can do it not too bad this nose the concealer on the nose is so bad this is okay the highlight isn't that bad surprisingly i thought it was gonna be more pigmented but i feel like it kind of made it a little bit less now we're gonna move on to eyes i'm gonna be using my eyeshadow palette oh my goodness neocorns this brush i feel so tempted to use that but no we are not gonna use the brush we are gonna put the brush on the side eyes away from the brush we're gonna do nice and natural because if i feel i feel like if i try and do something like too complicated like uh, it's not gonna go right the other day i tried to do a cut crease let's just say i'm not gonna be doing that again for a while it failed i'm just gonna use this as sort of like a base color transition shade whatever you call it i'm just gonna put this all over my lid basically this is so painful you wouldn't believe how like bruised my eye feels this isn't too bad do the other eye i feel like because this shade is quite light 
Right, and now I'm going to get this colour here, which is basically a glittery pink. I'm just going to put this in the centre of my lid. And now I'm going to get my white here. I'm going to put this in the corner of my eye. Not too bad. Now I'm going to do eyeliner though. I've decided to be a wimp, so I'm just going to use my glitter eyeliner. I just feel like if I do a darker eyeliner that you can actually see more, it's not going to be fun. I'm going to use this little bit here. Actually, that might actually be quite good, so I'm just going to put the eyeliner. Okay, so here we go. Eyeliner time. So glad that I'm using this eyeliner because my holder is covered in it. Thankfully, because it's like glittery, it can kind of almost get away for like a glittery eyeshadow, if you know what I mean. I'm trying to get like right down at the bottom it's really kind of difficult to get like here like i can get into the center of my lid and i can kind of do the well the, the flick <laughs> now i'm super nervous because i'm just gonna try and do this the same sort of method i don't want it to be clumpy at the same time i feel like this will be amazing if you don't want to have clumpy mascara you just use a dummy now let's put this on my eyelid. Well, I said about no clumping, but already there's a massive clump. I feel like more is going on my face than on my actual eyelashes. I'm usually bad at doing mascara. I usually have to remove some of my face. I really don't know what is happening, but we are just gonna move on to lips. We are so close to the end, Mia Corns. I can see it. So because I'm lazy and I don't wanna clean my dummy, I am gonna use this little bit here. I usually put my lip gloss on straight from the thing, but I'm not sure if that's cheating or not. So I'm just gonna use the dummy. Here guys, nothing. I feel like the look is so bad already that it cannot get any worse. Well, that wasn't bad at all. I just feel like there's loads of lip gloss left on it. I didn't need to put that much lip gloss on it. One last thing, and I'm not even using the dummy for it. Setting spray! I don't even know why I'm bothering doing this because I'm going to be taking this makeup off straight after this video. Maybe I'm going outside to the shop. <laughs> Okay, so setting spray done. This is gonna be staying on my face forever now And this is my face after using a dummy to do my makeup This is the dummy and this is what it looks like after I do my full face of makeup using it Very dirty and I really need to clean this because I am not gonna give this to my sister to use <laughs> So Mia Corns, I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial on how to do your full face of makeup using a dummy It's super helpful and super handy if you don't bring some of your brushes with you and you decide to use a dummy instead It's super helpful if you forget your stuff and you just can do it even if you do have brushes because it looks amazing It's so beautiful. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you are new around here, make sure to click subscribe to become a hashtag Miracorn. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Maybe this could be the new trend, like doing your full face of makeup using a dummy. It's just so random. <laughs> Anyways guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Love you! Mwah.